In this video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble a simple raglan tee style. I love this style of top because it has that nice style line, perfect for fabric paneling, and it's just that great little rugby style shirt that is so popular, and you can easily make it yourself. And it is super easy. The shoulder line is built up into the sleeve, and there's no set in sleeve, and I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to make. And today I'm demonstrating on our Thames Raglan tee as part of our So Quick and Easy Volume 3 collection. So I have all the pieces in front of me, and I'm just going to take the pattern pieces off, and you'll notice the front, if you, they, they are very similar, the front and back piece, but you'll notice the back has a uh, longer, style line for that sleeve line. So if you take off the pattern pieces and get confused, you can just always look towards that. Now this pattern is meant for a knit fabric. So I'm going to be constructing all of my seams on a serger, but if you don't have a serger, no problem. You can use a stretch stitch or zigzag stitch on your regular sewing machine. So first what I'm going to do is I'm gonna stitch the side seams of my top as well as the sleeve seams. And I like to do as much pinning as possible before I sit up my sewing machine so I can be very efficient. So I'm just going to open up my front and open up my back and just pin those side seams together. And then for my sleeve, I am just going to open my pieces and then fold them right sides together. So now I'm gonna head over to my serger and just stitch all of my seams. So now that I have my side seam stitched as well as my sleeve seams, I am going to stitch my sleeves to my top. And the easiest way to do this is to actually turn your sleeve pieces right side out. So I'm going to reach in and just turn those right side out. And then I'm going to open my piece like so, so I can see my entire line here. And the front pieces will have a notch in them, so it's really easy to match up. So if I take one sleeve, I notice that the notch is on this side, so I know that this is the sleeve pattern to insert. And a great tip to match up those underarm points is to push away your serging seams away from each other so you get a really nice crisp and flat seam transition. So that's the first pin I put into place. And then I'm gonna work my way up all the way to the neckline. Then I'm gonna take my back and work my way up towards that back neckline. Then you just repeat and pin the other sleeve to the other armhole and style line. And then we're just gonna take these to our machine and serge in a U shape. So once you have your sleeves sewn into your top, you are practically done. This style of top comes together so quick and easy. So the last steps we have are to just install the neckband as well as finish the hems. So I'm just gonna trim all my serging tails here. And I'm just going to push this aside and grab my neckband piece. 
and I am going to just place it together, right sides together, and just serge that short edge closed. And then while I was at my serger, I also just went ahead and stitched my neckband back seam right sides together, just along that short edge. And before I um, fold it in half and press it, I am just going to make two little clips to represent the center front because we want a nice even stretch from the front to the back. So you don't want one side more stretched than the other. So we're gonna match up the center back with the back of the top and the fronts as well. But before I do that, I like to take my iron on a low setting. I know you feel like you might not be able to press knits, but you most certainly can and it makes things like neck bands and hems a lot easier. So I just have it on a low setting and I'm just gonna fold it in half, wrong sides together, and give it a quick press. So now I'm gonna grab my top, and if, again, you get confused about which one is your front and back, the front neckline will come lower than the back. And what I like to do is notch my center fronts and center backs on my top too. You can do this before you take off the pattern pieces, but what I like to do is just match up those sleeve seams, and then just find my center point, and do a little clip. And then the same for my back. So I have all my matching points for a perfectly stretched and even neckband. So here I have my neckband and I'm gonna start at the center back. I like to have that seam right at the center. So what I'm going to do is I am going to match up that back notch like so, make sure it's not twisted, and then you kind of flip it down and match up all of those front notch clippings. And then I'm gonna take my two centers and I'm just going to kind of open them to the side, and then you can kind of pin those sides so you have a nice even stretch. And the neck band is smaller than the opening because if it is the same size, you're gonna get a rippled effect on your neckline finish. So I'm just gonna take this back to my serger and stitch around in a circle, starting at the center back. Look at that cute neckband. And I always like to match the neckband to whatever fabric I choose for the sleeves. But of course, when you sew, you're your own designer and you can choose whatever fabrics and colors that you like. And the last step is to finish the hems. Now on knit fabric, uh, hemming um, stitches like a twin needle or a zigzag, especially with a twin needle, you need to sew from the right side. So what I like to do is actually press up my hem allowance because it makes it easier and takes the guesswork out of folding under my allowance and stitching while I'm at my sewing machine. So I'm just gonna press up one inch using a sewing gauge all around my hems and then you can just use whatever stitch you like. There's so many stitch options that you can use for knit fabrics. Just make sure that they stretch. 
So I have my raglan tea all ready to be hemmed, and you can even hem it on your serger. You can try a lettuce hem effect, and you can even just leave it raw because knits do not fray. So you can have that option too. And while you're at your sewing machine for your hem technique, you can also try and do some top stitching along that neck band seam allowance, even using contrasting thread too. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how quickly a raglan tea top comes together and I can't wait to see all of your creations. You could even hack it into a dress. You could easily crop, um, crop the sleeve to be a short sleeve length. So many options. And you can even grab this Thames Raglan Tea Top for free at SewDaily.com. It's part of our So Quick and Easy Volume 3 collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video again. And make sure to like this video, comment with what you want to make your Raglan Tea Top into, and subscribe to Sew Daily Network to not miss another free pattern sewing tip video.